Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a floss tube for you today. I think it's number four. I don't know, we have floss tube. I've got some finishes. I have some works in progress and then I have a bunch of haul. Yeah, so we'll get started. Um, I think first what we'll start with is works in progress. So I've got my notebook that tells me all the information that we need. And I don't know if I showed this to you or not, but these are some pictures of some future starts. So what I do in this notebook is I write down what the name of the chart is, for what year or by who, um, anything like fabric, what day they started it, what floss. Now this one I didn't write all the floss out because it's a lot. I think there's like, I don't, I don't know, a ton of colors. But I did put like what fabric, I take a picture, a cover picture and put down here what it's gonna be when it's done. And sometimes like where I purchased it. So, and then I have a couple other starts coming up. These are just little smalls that I'm working on. And so I just went ahead and copied those. So this, and I still have it, it, it won't come out of its hoop for the year, but this is a temperature chart. And it is by Christy D. Clement on Etsy. And every shelf is a different month. So I am working on June. I went with my own colors. I went a little rogue, guys. But I just didn't want blue, 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 red, 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 blue, blue, blue. I wanted a definite variety. So I'm getting here in the middle of the summer some pastels, some more earthy tones in the colder. I just kind of made my own temper, my own colors. And it's gonna be pretty long. So I started this on January 1st and I'm current till last night. Now, I don't typically um, stitch it every day. What I've been doing is on Sunday or Monday, mostly Sunday, I stitch for the previous week. There's an app on my phone, or it's not an app, it's a website that you can look up the high temperatures for the past 30 days in your zip code. And that's what I've done. I just go to that website. And then what I do is I stitch a book for every day. Now, if there's two books the same color, like right here, I just do like a little back stitching to separate the two books because it really bothers me that they don't look like they're separate books. Uh, that's me. So I work on this every Sunday evening while I'm getting myself mentally ready to go to work. So this is my Sunday night stitch. And that's really the only stitch that I have a specific day for. Now, let's, I gotta go back to this one. This is the one, and I, I literally this morning, I put in a few rows, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But I'm going now, this is the Kringles, and I don't wanna take it out of its Q-snap, but this is the Kringles. I have the entire, Alex. Hey, hey, we, we don't chew on plastic, sir. Um, there's nine rooms that need to be filled and I can show you the actual pattern if you haven't seen it, which I'm sure you have, but this is it. I have the whole building completed. I do not have the name of the store and I don't have any of the store fronts. So that's what I'm working on now, starting with the entrance. And I'm starting here for a fun little fact that I got off count. This is the only row I know of that I messed up in here. So I want to get these wreaths laid because then I know everything else should be fine. The rest of these are just plain rooms and everything is kind of spaced out so much that even if I was off a little bit, it wouldn't notice. But on this here, I'm going to be off on the wreaths. So yeah, I got this back. This is going to be my new focal point piece that I will work on during the week in the evenings you know, for an hour or so every night, try to, I don't have to work on it every night, but I try to sit down and work on it for like an hour in the evenings. Um, Alex. And it's Kringles by Little House Needleworks. The floss is all the called for. Um, I bought Artiste Zweigart 32 count. I got it at um, Hobby Lobby and I dyed the fabric myself with some pearl, um, pearl gray. I wanted it to look like cement. And this is a pretty big piece. This is gonna be very large when it's done, um, but I'm, I'm happy for that, I wanna frame it. So it'll take up almost this whole piece, which I think is a half a yard. 
I'll take it out of its Q snap at one point to show you. So 32 count Artiste by Zweigart. I got it at Hobby Lobby, dyed it with pearl gray. And this started, this is one of, I think this is my oldest wick. Yes, I started this April 30th of 2020. I know, I let it sit for a long time. It's time to get this thing done. So I've pulled this out. So we're working on that in the evening. This is why I stopped and I can tell you because all these little rooms, can you just see all the detail? Oh, the color changing. It just, I think it was very overwhelming to me, but I'm just gonna take it one space at a time. I mean, even this morning, it took me like 20 minutes just to get the floss out and figure out what colors I needed for this one little area because there's so many colors. Um, there are, these are all the colors on the back. It's not, I mean, there's definitely more, but because these little scenes, there's a lot of color changing. When I filled in the rest of this, it was literally just laying brick, which I kind of enjoyed. So there's that. Now I, oops, let me get this next thing for you. Guys, I have a mess over here. I have so much stuff. This bag is a Caroline Evertotes bag. So if you're looking for some fun, funky bags, her um, shop is in the description below. It's from Canada. She does a fantastic job. Such detail and attention has been placed. It also, they come with a matching little notions pouch that I keep, oh, I keep all my flosses in this. This is called Nevermore by Lila Studio. And you've seen this one. I've been working on it for some time since I got back to doing my floss tubes. Um, yes, and I will show you where I've gotten. But I have a two page finish at this point. So I'm right here about halfway and the bottom half is done except for a little piece that I don't have the color for and I need to go get, but this is where we're at Ooh, on this one. Here we go. So I think since the last time I saw you, I finished the crow. I put in that medallion. I put in this, this, this. I put in the branch, filled in all the leaves and all of the color across there since two weeks ago. When I filmed this, I believe that's what I've completed. Potentially this white medallion over here, but I'm not 100% sure. So that crow was a slug and a half to stitch. It took two full skeins, almost, almost two full skeins. And I used wrought iron. And if you can see in the light here, it's more of a blue black. And I left the legs black black, just because I wanted some differentiation. And these motifs, these two should have been like this brown color, but I just thought it was too much brown. So I added a little teal. And yeah, so this start, this is my second oldest start. And I only have two. I don't exactly remember, but I believe I started it in, well, if I started this April 30th, the uh, Nevermore, or the Kringles, it was right around there that I started this. So March, April of 2020. And it is halfway complete now. So I'm gonna work on for a little while. I'm gonna get a few rooms. I'd like to get three rooms done on the Kringles and see how fast or slow that process takes. Maybe give that a good month and then I will go back to Nevermore. I would like to have both of these finished this year if possible because I have some other larger starts, but I don't want to start anything big until I finish these two because I don't like to have a lot of larger, larger starts going. And this will get stored back on this shelf right here with all my project bags that I've been going crazy making. So I'll show you that in a second. But so that was, those are my two works in progress that I have. Then I have three, I'm sorry. I have a finish. And I love this. It's magnets. I put it on um, acid-free mat board, and then I just hot glued some. Sorry, could you say that again? No, Siri. Um, I put some magnets on the back, and this is actually Dollar Tree fabric, like a really light red. The one thing I love is that I changed one of the flags to the Ukrainian flag. 
as kind of a tribute. And none of these colors are the called for. I went with my own color. I just kind of, so I had COVID when I stitched this. This is my actual COVID stitch. So what happened was, I was like, I want to do something new and I want something a little patriotic. And I even stitched my little 2022 charm on here. So I know when I finished this. So I started May 26th. I finished it June 5th. I think I fully finished it on June 5th. It didn't take that long. 32 count Lugana in Murano antique white that I purchased at Keepsakes in Cincinnati. And then I soaked it in coffee because I wanted it a little darker. So I wasn't able to go out. I had COVID. I had to stay home. So I went through my stash and found all of these colors and just used what I had. And that was very freeing to me. And I love stitching houses. So this is Souvenirs of the Heart, Star Spangled Spectacular with thy needle and thread. Um, I, well, if you want to know my color conversion, let me know. Cause there was, I mean, literally nothing was, I just grabbed colors and put them on here. And then what I did is I cut mat board in two different sizes, one to fit this. And then one is an inch bigger. And yeah, I laced this. I ha I just glued the fabric down to this cause I don't care. And then I glued them together to put them up downstairs. And I have them on a frame that it's magnetic. It's a metal like book holder that I have it on. So this is my first fully finish. Need a thumbnail. My second fully finish. And if you guys want to see all this stuff in real time, you should follow me on Instagram. I'm a, my crazy life, Lori. So I stitched this up and it says, if it's not backwards, let freedom ring. This is on Dollar Tree burlap, a roll of it that I purchased. And the blue, couldn't tell you the color or the red. I just grabbed what I had. It is done, um, oh, I do know the blues and reds. This is um, sulky, sulky thread. So I wanted some thickness. So I did four strands of sulky and I did go over two squares. So you can see up close. I just centered it the best I could. Is it perfect? No. And then these little stars are over one squared, but it's still four, four threads of sulky, which is eight strands of DMC. And then I just whip stitched this on here. It's not, not permanent or anything. So I could roll it up a little bit and then display it. And maybe I will pop this off. And when I'm ready to put up a different one, but it sits on my mantle. And then this will lead us into, um, purchases because this spool is a purchase. So this is what I did. Another finish. And this, I didn't even put, I don't put things like this in my book. It's literally just crafting. Now, if I want to leave this on this spool, if I find some more, then I could possibly just leave it, roll it up and pop it in storage like that. So easy peasy. So now we'll put our book away. We'll get into some, what I purchased, acquisitions. Um, I ordered these and I don't know if they're vintage or not. I think they are vintage. I know this one definitely is. And these are silk spools and they are wooden and they're soft. I got two of these and I think the total with shipping and everything was like $20. And then I went to a thrift store and found one of these and it was $2 or $4. I can't remember but they're just different sizes and I will use these for different displays. I think my tiered tray, we'll see some action. So I grabbed those um, totaled. I think I showed you this with my thrift haul and I have been told it is a 10 inch, but it's a quilter's hoop, not a stitching hoop. However, I'm still gonna use it to frame something because I think it would be fantastic to frame and it's nice quality and I paid 99 cents for it and it says petite 10 inch number 430 I don't know anything else about it there's no other like brand or anything like that but it's a 10 inch and I think this would be great to frame something I like the hefty of this up here and I think this will be fantastic so I grabbed that the cats are getting ready to start fighting on me 
I purchased, and this will, this is a link below. This came from Amazon, and there's a link in my description box below to my store. But this is called Smart and Cool Magnetic Silicone Ties. <clears throat> Told you. Okay, this is Wellington. He's getting down. Alex, please stop. Please and thank you. Okay, sorry. These are silicone ties. I mean, you can use them for a hundred million things, right? I had the purple ones out, which is why they're not correct. But what I use them for is um, to hold my fabric. And I, you've probably seen other people do this. I found these on Etsy. The woman or man or whoever was selling them were selling a two pack for $5 plus shipping. I got a 25 pack for $17.99. We just 25 in here, or 20 pack of all the different colors for um, $17.99 with free shipping on Amazon US. So like I said, the link is below and these work great. This magnet is really strong. So the brand is smart and cool. Even if you just Google it, if you don't wanna use my link, that's fine um, because it is an associate or an affiliate link. So I do make like a few pennies off of that. But if not, just Google smart and cool. And they come in a 20 or a 30 pack. And I think the 30 pack was like $25. And I've been using these a lot and I love them. I love them. I love the volume that I get, you know, of them. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. I've been printing off some free patterns as well. This is um, cross stitch summer camp that's put on by the Colorado Stitcher. I joined that this year, so I have some things going out for that. I went to Hobby Lobby, and I picked up some of this little snap buttons to um, try to make a project. And then I grabbed these to finish. I think I want to do some fall stuff. And these are uh, sunflowers. And I thought these were great buttons for fall. And all the yarnology stuff or sewology was 50% off that day. And as was these. And I use this as a zipper pull. And I have an extra one that I'll put as probably like jewelry for my floss or something. But that's a crown. So, of course, I had to have that. And this also was half price at... Hobby Lobby. So I will say, um, and this just goes in with my finishing stuff. If you love like all the charms and the buttons and things, Hobby Lobby is a good resource. I don't love that store, but it's a good resource. I don't love their message. Let's say that. Um, I went to my Magpie Market, which is a antique store. The store itself is, um, I think it's rented or owned, the business is owned by one uh, a woman or two, I don't remember, I don't know, I guess I should say. And then um, they rent out different booths to people. So there's all different vendors in there, which I love. Now these are not vintage, but I still like them. A little set of keys. I wanna sew these on a project. And then I grabbed a big key for, I don't know what but I like them. I, they're not vintage at all. They're a new find, but that's okay. Sometimes, I mean, I just want to sew like one of these keys as an accent on a finish. So I've been looking for finishing stuff. If you haven't, if I didn't say that, I've been looking for all kinds of finishing things. Um, like these, this bag here was at the same thrift store. This was, oh, so the, this spool was $2 for this wooden spool. This bag was $4 and it came with like some vintage stuff, but I really just wanted, so it has some really fun vintage trim, which I like. It also has these snap fasteners. These are not old at all, but I think that this tool will work on those other buttons, but we'll see. And then I really like this trim for something fun, like a fall something. Um, I don't need these. These are replacement pockets. I'll just donate those back. I don't need those. But these are good finishing items and I like the vintage feel of all of this. So that was a combined amount of $4 for all of these 
little things. I go to a store, it's in the same plaza as my Stitchy store, which is um, Cross My Heart LTD. And that is in the plaza. A Maggie's Magpie, Magpie Market is in that plaza. And the um, American Cancer Society thrift store is in there. And I find a lot of vintage stuff in that American Cancer Society store. So that's exciting. All right, more purchases. When I was at my, over there shopping. Oh, where's the other one? I needed some more Lagoon. And this is um, the Gentle Art, which is actually made here in Ohio. Actually, it's made here in Columbus, right up in New Albany or Upper Arlington. I can't remember. But it's made, oh, New Albany, uh, right here local to me. And I needed some more Lagoon for Nevermore. And I figured out what the problem is. Nevermore was charted and all the floss and stuff was for a 40 count one over one. And I'm doing it on the 30 count two over two. So that's why I keep running out of floss. So I just went and bought more of what I thought I would need. And while I was in there, I couldn't help myself. I got the Plum Street Sampler um, Corgis. It's called Corgi Caboodle. Oh, I also need to get the chicken, but this Corgi Caboodle is adorable. And this looks like my niece's dog if I was to do it in a different color. So I got, I got that pattern. That'll be a future start, not right now. Now, if you're in the Leo and Roxy Floss Club, don't look because I'm getting ready to show you the, I always have to look. I think this is May, the May floss colors, and I love them. Yeah, maybe get a better look at them. There's a green and then the purple, the peach this golden yellowy color and then this like what's that called mother of pearl which if it was a little more pink it would be like ballet slippers so i grabbed i got these five colors this month again ever tote is the sole proprietor of leo and roxy floss fabric she also sells printed copies of uh, modern folk embroidery and a lot of kits and conversions and floss packs and the whole life so if you're looking for some stuff, I, I would suggest checking her out. I just ordered more floss and it'll be here soon. I really enjoy stitching with the Leo and Roxy. It feels very plump to me and it has great coverage and which is what I like. So I grabbed that, I'm gonna put that away. Um, okay, I think that's all the stitchy, oh, nope. I also received in the mail from Sylvia. So I had put out on my stitching page, I belong to um, Friday Off the Grid Needle Arts, which is Caroline at Evertote's Facebook group, and no, uh, Stitch North, because I go to Stitch North, I belong to that group. And I can't remember where I put this, but I had those 2022 charms. Yeah, I had to order them in a hundred and I didn't have enough to, sh you know, I'm not going to have a hundred finished product projects. So I offered to send some out. So I shipped out a whole bunch and Sylvia in return sent me and somebody else did too, but it's downstairs. I'll show you next time. Some silk for you. I've never stitched with silk. I'm so excited. And this is going to end up in Nevermore because these colors go with it. So I'm gonna use this for one of my motifs when I get back to Nevermore and I will be able to stitch on it. And I'm super excited I'm to try silk because that definitely is something I have not stitched with before and I'm keeping my little card with it. So I, got, I received that as a gift and I'm so happy. Now, I have been shopping like a crazy person i ordered fabric and i'm not sure exactly what here i've showed you and what i haven't so i'll just show you it all but i ordered this this is dutch heritage fabric i'm obsessed with this i think this is perfect for fall i'm using this to make like a, a placemat but it's a little different it's for stitching retreats or when i'm out and about stitching and I will use this as the fabric for the front side so I can see it. Oh, guys, look at this. 
Isn't that everything? And the line is called Dutch Heritage Gujarat. Get G U J A R A T by Petra Prins on Anel Kuman. Neil. No. Anel Kuman. I love it. I love this so much, and I cannot wait to make my placemat with that. And then I ordered on, I think it came with that. I ordered this. This is all from Etsy. And I think I did show you this fabric. This is the v VW Bug. And then I got the bees and I finally stitched up my bee bag. Which I need to work on my patterns or my cuttings. But I love it. Look at these bees. And the crown so I use this is where I use the other crown for a zipper pull and this is actually Dollar Tree fabric I mean obviously it's a different quality but not much so I did that and then on the inside I have the same ticking fabric and this will hold all of my B charts that I want to stitch up but we're not starting new things, big things until, although these aren't really big, but the, and they're not new. So I have this as a new construction. I stitched this up. I'm getting good at these, but I need to get better at like cutting straight along. So it's not kind of like, this is a definitely a, a pattern that should be in straight, but that's okay. And finished. I think I cut this one 14 inches wide by 13 tall, so it's 13 wide by 12 tall. And I do use fusible interfacing in my bags. And there is a video out there on how I make these. So I have that. And that was the three fabrics I ordered. And then I ordered on, I don't even know where I ordered this from. Oh, Fat Quarter Shop. Okay, so I did an order on the Fat Quarter Shop. And I received it. And I grabbed two of these lace zippers because I think they're adorable. Um, these are decorative, so obviously um, I will stitch these on the outside. I won't bury the, the tape here. These will get top stitched when I decide to create something. These are only 12 inch zippers, so they're a little smaller than those projects. So I'm gonna come up with a different type of project that will use these two zippers or one of these two zippers. So I grabbed those. And then I ordered some of this blue, and I think this is a half a yard. You can take it out of the plastic now that I'm showing it to you. I like ordering from the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, yeah, this is a half a yard, and it is French. This is um, the like French General blue. I don't think it's French General, but it might be, and it's. Celion blue, I believe, and it's just a muted blue, and I love it. And then I ordered <laughs> a fat quarter bundle by um, Riley Blake, or for Riley Blake Designs by Danny Magstard. It's called American Dream. It is definitely like patriotic without being like red, white, and blue, boom, flag, in your face it's just very like this flat this pattern right here it's so summery to me and is literally everything so this is every i believe it's every pat every fabric in the pattern or in the uh that came out with this design for the american i'm looking for the right words the whole collection of american dreams is 21 fabrics um including a couple that are like that look like they're already quilted and these will end up being project a project bag for sure and then I have all of these different colors if I can remember I will put a picture in of what this looks like or what the each pattern is but I love it now these this was like $68 but there's a lot of fat quarters in here so I'm not mad about that and actually this lining fabric or fabric accent will go with many of these and kind of tone it down a little bit which is what I like so I, like, as you can see I have been ordering stuff and I need to stop right we, ooh, we need to stop ordering all the things the last thing I have is something I stitched up and it's a zipper pouch 
and I made this out of a fat quarter bundle that I bought at Joanne and it was like half price. So I got the whole fat quarter bundle for $5 and there were five fat quarters. But it is, and I'm gonna open it up. It's being used currently. It is a, it's like a little pouch. It has a pocket over here that I have my needle book in that I made with felt and just a coffee needle book. I have my seam ripper in here. This is an erasable pen. I have usually my highlighter in there. And then over here I have a needle threader. Over here, I have a needle minder. I have another needle threader with a B. This is my corner gauge and this pocket. There's all these are pockets. It's gonna be hard for me to show you, but these are all pockets. So up here is a pocket, this is a pocket, and then these pockets here hold my needles. And it has a zip. And I, I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I am obsessed with it. I love it to death. I love it a lot. Here, I'm gonna put everything back together so you can see. I ended up having to hand stitch this quilt back binding on the inside because I just don't sew it well. And then, yeah, the one, the woman that I found this from, if I can remember, I will link the YouTube video. This was, she had done these pockets, no, these pockets over here in vinyl, which I bought the vinyl, but I, it was hard for me to sew, so I decided I didn't love it. And then you just fold it together and this zip goes all the way around and it keeps all of your stuff together, which is what I need for my um, little stitchy space. And again, when I go out in the world, I have batting and interfacing on here just to give it some structure. And then I put this little zipper pull on it because I thought it was cute. And yeah, and then I used all this is the same, except for the yellow, I bought the yellow separate. So I create, I sewed that as well. So that is everything for my floss tube this week. I hope you're enjoying. If you are, give it a thumbs up. Check out the vendors that I've listed below or the YouTube channels. Um, these ideas and purchases and stuff come from a lot of them where I get, I get ideas and then I create things and make them my own, except for this. I came up on this and I'm sure I'm not the only one, but this was a unique idea for me anyway, because when I bought this, I'm like, I need to cross stitch on it. Now I did print off a freebie off of the internet that has this, this, um, wording and it actually was let freedom ring. And it is a free chart that I found on Pinterest, but I didn't do the whole, obviously the whole chart. I just did the words because I wanted, yeah, I wanted something patriotic, but again, not overly, just a touch. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.